kind of always loved the idea of a short and interesting life, you know, rather than a long, dull one. Colombia is one of the most dangerous countries in the world. Photojournalist Jason Howe has spent several years documenting the civil war there. I remember Jason coming home and saying he had met a girl. 23 personas que matado. I certainly didn't know he was going to be sleeping with a, a female assassin, but I'm just glad it was female. <laughs> When you're in your early 20s and you're trying to get your war on and make pictures, you know, you're like, yeah. Oh, we could see the bullets, right? I'm like, we're like, Jason, Jason. He's like, what, what? And we're like, ah, you're about to get shot. They're all hyped up on adrenaline. You're hyped up on adrenaline. And you have to kind of out crazy the crazies. So I looked at my brother and said, I want a picture of that guy firing his RPG. So what do you think? You think I can make it over there? I think, you can go if you like. I'm, I'm staying put. Click, click, click on the next one, the RPG fires. There's only one shot that captures that split second. At 8.15 in the morning, I was awoken by a huge explosion. Lit the aluminium window frames through those across the room. And I, I lay there semi sort of frozen in shock. I opened the fridge to see whether my eggs had survived the explosion, being bizarrely delighted that they were all still in one piece. On the 11th of November 2011, Stephen Bainbridge stepped through the doorway, and as he did so, uh, we had a bit of a tough day yesterday. You know, I, I'm really keen not to give anyone an excuse to just uh, impose their personal feeling yeah. on the picture not being used. One thing that was mentioned during the phone conversation was that the Ministry of Defence would be pretty upset if the pictures that we used were graphic. Conflict is very often a lot of ordinary people put into very extraordinary situations. Jason has had a strict religious upbringing. He'd drink everything, he'd fuck everything, he'd snort everything, and then he'd just wake up like an angry bear and then he'd just do it all over again. There's no doubt about it that Jason suffers from post-traumatic stress. You can run from your demons until you're exhausted. So, the only option for me really was a complete lifestyle change. It, it's normally a pretty steady decline to thinking that the world's a very dark place. Paparazzi for the dead and dying kind of just leaves a pretty nasty taste in your mouth. 